Okay, so if you don't want to use like a picture like this to do blood flow through the heart, then you can use this um, like Valentine's Day heart again. And instead of creating like an anatomical map of the heart, we can actually do a blood flow chart and it makes it a lot easier. Mostly it makes it easier because you don't have to worry about like where your lines go a little bit. And it kind of shows you more simplistically how blood is flowing into and out of the heart. You just have to label everything. And so I gave you this chart that I that I created, or you can create your own chart. And remember, you wanna you just wanna start labeling stuff, right? This is our left ventricle. This is our right ventricle. So over here, this is gonna be the right atrium, and this is gonna be the left atrium. Well, left atrium. Okay. Again, on on a test, my expectation is that you do not use abbreviations, okay, that you write everything out. I need to know that you understand what LA means and RA means. And then you can start labeling everything else. So this is going to be a set of veins that all attach to the right atrium. So it has to be superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and the coronary sinus. Okay, that means this is our tricuspid valve. That means this is my pulmonary valve. That means this has to be my pulmonary trunk. And I don't have a whole lot of room, but I'm gonna make a set of lungs right there. Okay. Uh, dig everything, sure. Then on the left side, so if this is the left atrium, this has to be pulmonary veins. This has to be my bicuspid slash mitral valve. This has to be my aortic valve. This has to be my aorta. And then one, you can kind of like maybe make a heart and you can make like some body cells, just so we know where our blood is flowing to, okay? So again, over here, what we can do is like pulmonary circuit. What's happening? So we're going to have CO2 rich blood. It's going to move in through superior and inferior vena cava and coronary sinus into the left atrium. As it moves in, left atrium, the right atrium. As it moves into the right atrium, it goes through the tricuspid valve, passively filling the right ventricle. As the right ventricle contracts, you're going to see pulmonary valve is gonna open, tricuspid valve will close. What will happen is blood will flow through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary trunk and then into the right and left pulmonary arteries. You get rid of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide gets released in lumps, okay? You pick up oxygen. That's our pulmonary circuit. Oh, actually, so it's not that bad, I hope. Okay, that's pulmonary circuit. So since we picked up oxygen, now we have to go through our systemic circuit. So that's the left side. So our systemic circuit means we're gonna have O2 rich blood. From the lungs. And over there I forgot from the body. So I'm gonna write from body. Okay, and you should probably put like, yeah, lungs, remove CO2, I don't I don't have enough room, but right, remove CO2, pick up O2, okay. So O2 rich blood from the lungs is gonna move from the pulmonary veins into the left atrium. And as 
the left atrium fills, blood is going to passively move into the left ventricle through the bicuspid slash mitral valve. You're going to contract the, the atria, squish blood into the ventricles. You'll contract the ventricle, close the bicuspid valve, open up the aortic valve, and that oxygen-rich blood will go into the aorta, okay? So some of that blood's going to go to the heart, right? It picks up O2. And then the other blood is going to go to the body cells right here. When you go to the body cells or the heart, those absorb O2. And the veins are going to pick up CO2. So the vein systems that are picking up this CO2 are basically superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and coronary sinus. So you go through that whole cycle again. Okay. You want to remember that this is happening simultaneously on both sides of the heart. It's not like one side is doing this and then the other side is doing this. You have to contract the whole heart at the same time. You bring blood in at the same time, blood gets released at the same time, blood comes in at the same time, and blood gets released at the same time, okay? So there, are, you could also write a list if you, if you want to, if you prefer that, instead of making a flow chart. I find sometimes flow charts or pictures are a lot easier than having to like list out every every little thing. Okay. So this is just another way that you can um that you can do a, a stepwise like how blood flows through the heart.